Welcome back, everybody, to another Let's Play Risen to Dark Waters. I am Zex, or your host. This is part 135 of the series. In this part, or in the last part, we returned Angus to the uh, Inquisition guys who were on the beach. And we learned that basically there are a bunch of naked corpses because Garcia and his men killed the Inquisition expedition. One of those in the Inquisition was probably Gar or was probably uh, Corrientes. And he basically dressed his guys up in their armor, making me wonder about some of our quests. For example, we have this Garcia ship. Is this actually an Inquisition ship that we would end up assaulting and so we don't really want to fight them? I don't know. But we're uh, going to continue and we'll see where we can go uh, in this episode. We're going to try to complete some of these other quests. Uh, I can get up the cliff. No. Can I get up? There we go. Anyway, um, so we're going to see if, uh, if we can find more information out and maybe get, uh, you know, get some quests completed. So apparently, unlike what I was thinking, this may not actually go through here. Um, I was thinking we might be able to get through here, but I'm becoming less and less convinced of that. It's looking like this is a dead end. I might be missing something. Maybe there's a way through anyway, but... Going up these cliffs gave us this chest, sure, but it didn't get us any closer to getting through. So I am thinking. Alright, let's do this. this. And this. And then very, well, very carefully drop again. Drop on the last one. All right. Because see, I don't see any way through. The cliff side here. I don't see a tunnel. I don't see Bubkus. I don't think see Jack. But you can't run up that at all. So it really is, I think it really is just a dead end. Which is not what I was hoping for, so I guess we'll do some sprinting. Sprint and rest and sprint and rest and sprint and rest. So this is closer to where Angus was. So we're going to go up over where Angus was and then come around here, I guess. And we didn't fully explore over here, so we'll explore over here, maybe some also. But I'm going to try to see if we can get to Garcia's ship that way at all. Not really sure. See, there's a corpse. But nothing happens. It's so weird that you can interact with it, except not really interact with it, you know. Okay, I was like, Chani, like, did I lose Chani? The AI, that's one thing I've noticed in this game. It's mu I mean, you're always going to have flaws, and it's mostly good, actually. They, they, you know, make logical choices for the most part. But every once in a while, the AI seems to kind of get confused and, like, lost. Like, I've lost Chani a couple times and had to go back to get her again. So, yeah, see, so Angus was here, and Garcia, dressed as Corrientes, or posing as Corrientes, told me to come kill Angus because obviously he didn't want to be discovered as actually being Garcia. He is, well, he's a captain, so it makes sense he's, he'd be somewhat clever. Try to trick me that way. Had I killed Angus, probably, I've already done that in chest, uh, had I killed Angus, I probably would have run into some problems where potentially some other quests or whatever would have ceased to be available. So I wonder, does this ship then take me? Coconut, coconut. Let's see, okay. Well, this turkey. It's gonna give me raw chicken, which is tasty. Which I'm also gonna kill this turkey. More raw chicken. <coughs> Yum. Yum, yum, yum. I will have turkey salad later. 
tasty turkey. Tasty turkey in my belly. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's loot it if I can. There, 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 there. There we go. Great. That wasn't too tough. 65 gold. Not bad for a small little chest on the side of the beach. The pirate flag by it. Message in a bottle. Another message in a bottle. Raw fish. Nice. Let me read this message in a bottle and see what it says. Somewhere. Message in a bottle. The treasure in the panther cave. Another treasure map. Very nice. Okay. This. Let's do this. Let me save. Before we get in trouble, get into the ship. Okay, now let's try it. You're in for it now, matey. That's our post, so... One more we need, right? Oh, Chani just healed me. <laughs> That's... And another. Uh, just another. There should be one more, and I don't know where he is. Be up here. You're in for it now, matey. <laughs> That was Garcia's ship. Let's see if there's anything. There may not be right, but see if there's anything to loot on here while we're here. Grog, boarding pistol, nice. Treasure map, another one. Hmm, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, here we are. The last time we put ashore in Antigua, I discovered a cave behind a large waterfall in the cliff. 
I buried my treasure there at the back of the cave. The entrance can only be opened by using the password All Hail Garcia. Wow, what a wanker. <laughs> Mark the treasure set. I better copy it down. Wait, something on the last page. The black dog has turned them all against me. There's mutiny in foot. In spite of everything, I will find the fight. These bastards don't know who they're dealing with, but I do. Very nice. Okay, very good. I like it. I could sleep in the bed. Maybe I should have done that instead of using provisions, but okay. Whatever, too late now. Anything up over here? Probably not, but maybe. Nope, nothing up there. Let's see what's inside here. Goes into the bilge. Let's check the bilge out while we're here. Purse, nice. So let's go back up here and just see if there's anything up on top of the other side really fast. Yeah, nice. I'm surprised there was, well I guess there were still four pirates here, right? So I was going to say that I was surprised there was meat there, but this wasn't completely abandoned. It just had a very light crew, so makes sense. Okay, so, done that now. So, so now I need to talk to Cordobar, maybe. So assuming he's not going to try to kill me once they find out. Um, wonder if that's why. Wonder if that's why Cordobar was like all like scared. Maybe he. Uh, hang on. Save it. Alright. Let me jump. You can run! But it will find you! <laughs> I boarded Garcia's ship. It's floating abandoned off the northeast shore, waiting for whoever wants it. And it's still in one piece? It's not sinking, if that's what you mean. And the masts are okay? Not about to fall and crush us to death. <laughs> It'll get you where you want to go, I promise. Good. Finally, I can go home. Thank you. So that's it, is it? Um, yes. Ahem. <laughs> um, 50 gold, do it. That's the price you put on my almost dying? No, of course not. 100? Here, have 100. Mm, yeah, I suppose so. Good. Well, I've lots to do here, thanks to you. Sweet. See, my silver tongue's paying off now. My silver tongue's paying off? Okay. So we'll go ahead and save that, since that did not get me in trouble. Okay, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Risen to Dark Waters, part 135. I am Zexor, your host. Until the next time, see ya!